Darren Haley, welcome to John Hanks Safaris. Uh, you guys have a nice list of animals ahead of you. Yes. Um, some gamespuck, some kudu, uh, impala, warthog, and those sort of animals. And uh, yeah, I look forward to having a great week with you guys. Very good. Yes, we're very excited. So there's a gamespuck bull down there, way in the bottom, that we can go and take a look at. Um, he's still a little bit far away to kind of depict his age, but. Uh, Everything else looks good on him, so I think it's a worthy candidate to go and check out. Dude, there's a lot of dead ground as well that you can't really see, so it's just been another couple minutes and see if he comes out the other side there. So, Gary, there's some thicker brush here that makes a kind of a loop down to those kudus, so. Yes. We're gonna use the brush to our advantage. The wind's good as well, so we're gonna sneak down like that. Hopefully, we can get a 250-yard shot somewhere around there. Okay. Okay. One of these bulls have spotted us. He's, he's, oh, there he's coming through the brush to us. Yeah, 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 that's him there. Yeah. You see the one kind of facing the other one on the left. Okay, it's 3.50 now. Left, the left one. Good shot, man. Well done. Well done, that was an excellent shot. He's a nice old bull. He's Groomed all the way down. You can see he's, uh, he's got good age and character on him, so well done. Very nice. Well done, Gary. Hey, thank you. Great shot there, my man. Thank you. How beautiful are they? Look at this uh, warp paint on their face. Yeah, the black and white there. Yeah, and this is a super nice old guy. Um, his eye banks, you see how oh, yes. prominent they are. Yeah, you know, old bulls have these Get big prominent right eye here. banks. Yeah, like a beef bull. Yeah, and these guys broom their horns. They work their horns yeah. quite a bit, but they have the knack of actually still keeping them semi sharp. You know, so this guy would have been a, quite a bit longer in his heyday. I would be very proud if I were you, my man. Well <laughs> Thank done. You. With the area where we're going to tomorrow, it's got even better pool than this. It's just a very good pool for this area, so I'm just showing you guys. You know. It's still fun to see. Yeah. So. So guys, there's a couple of pigs down there. There's a big kudu bull standing under the tree. You can see his outline there. Oh, yeah. There's a nyala bull as well. There's a lot, a lot of game here. So let's just sit here and see, see what happens. What happens yeah. There's some other pigs on the left yes. making their way to the right here, but he's behind that brush on yeah, the right. There's there. two two sitting over there to the left of him, correct? Yeah. By that stump? Yes. He's feeding his little one directly above him across the road. Is he starting his head behind the bush? Yeah. yeah. He's on his knees now. You got him? Okay. Aim in the crease behind the shoulder. What a shot. <laughs> 500 yards, what a war dog, man. Is that your longest shot so far? That is my longest before, it's about 420, so <laughs> yes. Well done, that was a textbook shot, you, shot you dropped him on the spot there. 
I heard it. <laughs> Look at that, Gary, well done. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, that is quite a warthog, holy cow. Beautiful, old, old, old guy. He's got nice cutters on him and he really stuck out amongst the others. You can actually see his body size has diminished with age. And uh, he's actually, look at all these battle scars on his back from old bite marks and stuff. So he's been around the block a bit. And uh, yeah, as I said, also the males you can see have four prominent warts where the females only have one small wart be below the eyes. And uh, yeah, this is a superb old pig and uh, the perfect one to take. So this water gear has been wounded by a bow hunter before. This just really shows how um, how tough these things are. So this thing totally made a recovery That's... with a slick trick broadhead inside it and a piece of shaft. A cassia and impalia on the clearing in front of us. Um, I could just see the back end of it. It's just kind of moved to the right behind the brush. Let's just take a walk close and see if he's good enough. Okay, this ram here isn't good enough, but let's just hang tight for five to ten minutes. Maybe there's another one that will pop up. Let's come stand in the shade. Fully shaped, he's beautiful. I think I think he's got some years in him still, so let's let's pass on him. Okay. Probably 50 inches, probably 49, 50 inches, but I can just see by the characteristics on his on his bases and his horns and his face that he's not an old, big old bull, you know. Um, and his tips are still very you know, not un, unworn and sharp, you know. Mm. So you can see by the the wear and tear on the horns and the thickness of the neck and size of the body and the muzzle. If he's an old bull, you know, I think he's probably a six, seven year old. Yeah. So Gary and Haley, uh, today brings uh, the second day of the hunt. Yes. And uh, we've had a lovely day. Uh, we saw a lot of kudu and uh, nyala and impala and uh, you managed to put on a big water ball um, first thing off the first lookout point <laughs> um, and uh, we found another nice beautiful bull and we snuck close but found that he's a little bit young and then right now at the end we stalked to crazy 15 yards of a big old water <laughs> ball but uh, yeah it's been very promising and I'm pretty sure that tomorrow will be an action-packed day going mm -hmm. to be fun been awesome so far yes So uh, today brings the third day of the hunt. Um, it's a beautiful crisp morning. Uh, the sun is just peeking over the horizon. It can probably be a little bit more difficult this morning as we had a full moon the whole night. Yeah. But uh, I think at about 10, 11 o'clock, you know, the, they should get hungry again and stand up and start feeding. So um, for now, we'll go and get on high ground. You know, maybe we'll find a bull moving, you know, back to a bedding area. But uh, in the meantime, we can also look for impala and warthog and things like that.
Sim walking there. That's another bull. Pai am, pa. And you know, it's another bull coming there. Yeah. One's a go, one's a pull on the left, but the pull we want to shoot is the one that's closest to us. Coming towards us, just watch him. Do you see him? Yeah. Okay, take him on the shoulder. Good shot. Great shot. What a shot. It's running down the valley there. What a shot and how long did we spend sitting here? Probably freaking three hours in this baking sun. And eventually the giraffes moved to him and actually were fighting and sparring and it spooked him. He got up and eventually presented us a shot. Whoa, how lucky was that? Well done, Hayley. Beautiful you. kudu bull. Amazing. <laughs> Look at that. Nice dark neck on him too, eh? This is a typical Eastern Cape Kudabul. You can see how nice and dark his neck is and how dark his face is, um, you know, in contrast to other bulls that you find up north. Um, he's a beautiful old bull. His tips are pointing forward. He's nice and wide. And uh, yeah, he's got a nice big Roman nose and a big old body. So yeah, well done. There you go. So Gary and Haley, today brings uh, the morning of the fourth day. It's a lovely day. I think it's going to get hot again today. So we must make use of the cooler weather while it holds. So yeah, let's go and have a look. So guys, it's warmed up pretty good um, and I think most animals are bedded down now. Um, I could actually see eland underneath the trees there and uh, some kudu way in the shadows. So I think let's use our time um, and go and look for um, impala and zebra on the top. So okay. they should still be out and about now. So. Sounds like a plan. Then late this afternoon we'll go look for kudu again. Okay. Let's 
spotted us through those thick thorn trees there. A very big bull with this age bull. just doesn't have the shape we want it. Okay, he's just across this draw here. He's probably 120 right now. We're probably gonna get to 100. Okay. If you got a shot, then take him. What a shot. Hey. Well done. That was 80 well done. yards away. 80 yards, there he crashes. There he goes down. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> what a big old bull. That's a nice bull. Beautiful. Congrats. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Well done, Gary. <laughs> Wow, it is so beautiful. They really are. Look at the size of that body. Look at this massive neck as well. Eh? Look how heavy his horns are. Look at this beautiful belly he's got. Thick, thick ivory yeah. tips. That comes with age. And look, the coloring. Look at the marks on his forehead and nose from fighting. Man, mm. what a beautiful animal, eh? Something else, we're sitting here seeing so many kudu and everything around. We spot this and stalked to 80 yards <laughs> and got it. Congratulations. <laughs> oh man, thank you. Got him, got him. Don't roll down the canyon. Yeah. Reload. What a hunt. That was crazy. Hey. Saw him way up there. Stuck down here to get a better shot. Yeah. What a hunt. What a bruiser. What a massive, massive animal. So you saw him. Yeah, he's busy going down there in the brush. Awesome, well done. So guys, the aloe vera is known to be a very sweet. And uh, yeah, a lot of the animals actually chew on this and uh, the theory is that it makes their blood a bit bitter and uh, helps for ticks. So oh. taste how, at least give it a try. Taste huh? how lovely that is. Man, come look at this neck on this guy. What a beautiful bull. Congratulations. Look how he's broomed all the way. See, he's thick all the way, broomed. Look at this enormous neck. Absolutely enormous uh, body as well. Eventually this morning we found him in the same general region, but just around the back of the little conical hill and uh, we couldn't get on him there, he kind of spooked and it came all the way along to about 700 and then he eventually he calmed down started feeding again and uh, 
we saw that there was another vantage point we could get to and uh, yeah we snuck down there quietly got set up and waited it out and eventually he, he came feeding out and present us with a shot I tell you what it was a difficult shot the sun was behind him really and uh, you made it count and you put him down congratulations hey, thank you thank you martin that was a, that was just amazing So guys, we're back from our Kai River concession and uh, we out here back at Woodlands again. We're looking for some Impala and uh, Warthog and Gemsbuck for Haley. And uh, we've actually just spotted a nice Gemsbuck pool better down at about probably three quarter of a mile away. So we're going to make our way around and uh, there's a little knoll above it. I'm guessing around 80 yards from it. Um, you know, this wind will try and get a little bit closer. and. Uh, then I can age it correctly and we can see if it's one we want to take, you know, so let's go and have a look. Let's go check it out. I see a game's back around the corner, it looks like a pool, I'm just going to have a look quickly. The game's back laying down on the side of that um, little draw running up there, but one I can see is a young bull, but I can't see the other one um, because it's behind the bush. So I think let's go a ways around them to get the wind right and sneak in and just have a look at the other one there. Furthest on the right. Oh, that's four. Yeah, there's a second who's got a termite mine in front of his nose. You see that? Yeah. Okay, just wait for him to stop. Aim at the left point of the shoulder and take your time. Just wait for him to turn his head a bit. Okay, square on the shoulder. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. Well done. What a shot. Down he goes. Down he goes. Well done, Hayley. Congratulations. Thank you. What a great shot. shot there. Well done. You can be very proud of yourself. <laughs> Let's go and take a look at him. Well done, Hayley. Excellent yeah. shot. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful Gensfolk bull. We saw these guys a bit earlier on and uh, got around the pack then got the wind right. I snuck mm -hmm. over that riser. There was one bush in this open plain for us to get close to. And uh, we just uh, hunkered down and uh, waited it out until this guy presented the shot. So really, really pulled off a great shot in this terrible wind. And uh, yeah, the, even the chill factor set in there. Our teeth are clattering while we were watching them. Yeah, but yeah, you can be proud of yourself. Well done. Thank you. I got my toes in the water, hands in the 
We're just about to crest the hill now. Will you take the rough official and just point it down? Okay. Wait, dude. Is that him? Yeah, it should be him. Okay, it is him. Okay, you on him? Yeah. Okay. Take your time. There you go. Well done. Spot on his shoulder. Well done. You do? Yeah, he's done. Congratulations. <laughs> Yay! Gee, was look at that pig. Look at that. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So Haley, you got a beautiful pig here. Um, we saw him early this morning and we managed to get up above him at 250 yards. Uh, he just wouldn't present a shot and eventually um, he turned nice and broadside. He was actually feeding on his knees and uh, 250 yards, he put the hammer down on him. Well done. Okay, when you're ready, you can take him. Well done, Gary. Whoo, that was fun. How lucky were we? we? We came over this little rouse looking at something about 600 yards and this guy came out at about 80 yards. Hey. Sometimes it's nice getting lucky, isn't it? Never, never look a gifted horse <laughs> in the mouth. Absolutely. Let's go and take a look at him. Well done, Gary. Oh man, thank you, Martin. Congratulations. Well, I'm pretty sure that you know that they are our national antelope. And uh, yeah, they, they're really stunning antelope and they occur in thousands in, uh, in the Karoo. And especially around here, yeah, this is kind of the starting point of uh, you know, the more arid areas where you find them. So yeah, yeah congratulations once again. And uh, yeah, today's our last day, so we're making the most of it. Got it. Well done. That was close and personal. Yeah, that was close and personal. I saw him lift his shoulder as he ran off that hill there, so yeah, we'll get him, no problem at all. There we go. Look at that. Well done. <laughs> very, very nice. What a nice old ram, eh? 
Look at the condition he's in, he's in absolute showroom condition. And you can just see by the nice mass on his head and uh, the parallel tips. It's a really, really nice ram. Yeah. Uh, we spotted this guy probably three quarter of a mile off and uh, we closed the distance to 85 yards. And it was actually pretty tough because we had this little shrub in front of us that we had to move left and right. But he was kind of center at the back. So if we went left or right, there were females. But eventually we scooted out to the right and uh, some of the females ab actually observed us and, and ran a little ways and he acted almost like a zebra stallion, you know, stood his ground, ran a little ways and turned and looked back and Haley absolutely put the hammer down on him with the, another perfect shot another today. Perfect shot. Part for the course. Yeah. What's that four for four? Yeah. Amazing. Congratulations, Haley. about a foot back from the crease to the right It li it's lying down. When it gets up again, just watch it. So if he stands, aim sort of in the, at the front point of the shoulder, like on the front of the chest, you know, for it to drift back in. There it gets up. Okay, there you go. You hit it, reload. Okay. We had to run around for that one. <laughs> Those things are tough. You're probably thinking, oh no, Yego's around too. <laughs> oh my gosh. You made it count there. Well done. That was, that's a crazy crosswind there. You obviously had to aim off him. So there was about a two foot drift there. Well done. Wow. Well done, Gary. Hey, thanks, Mark. Wow. What a beautiful big zebra. No. Yeah, we, this uh, one on top of the plains and then uh, came down over the rise and uh, luckily you, you put in a good follow-up shot and yeah the rest is history. So Haley and Gary um, this brings the end to our safari. Yes. Uh, it's been lovely having you guys here. You guys have taken some lovely animals and it's been a real treat having you guys. Thank you. It's just been a trip that kind of ended up beyond our expectations. Just can't believe how much fun we had. Yeah, thank you so much guys for supporting us and uh, hopefully this isn't the last trip you guys will do with us. Yeah, no, we'd love to be back here. Start planning the next one. <laughs> yes, yes.